This TikTok shop made a million dollars in five hours. In this video, I'm gonna break down exactly how they did it. So first thing is first, as you guys can see, we're here inside of Calo Data. For those of you guys that are not familiar with Calo Data, this is a TikTok analytics tool that allows you to see things like the top selling products on TikTok shop, the top affiliates, the top live streams, and more. Now, we're currently looking at the Canvas Beauty brand, and you can see that even more specifically, we're looking at the data for last week, specifically June 8th. This was very recently, and as you can see, for the day, and in fact, within a five to six hour time period, they made a million dollars. If we scroll down, we can see a full breakdown of the exact products that were sold and the exact revenue generated from each one. Now that we covered all the numbers, let's dive into some more specifics. One of the first things I wanted to start off with is this is the first creator ever on TikTok that has ever reached $1 million in sales from a single live stream. Uh, this is the creator here. She's actually the founder of the brand as well. And this is something that's never been done before. Now, obviously, this is pretty big in China and that's pretty well known. But here in the US, this is just getting started, in my opinion. So I took some time to get familiar with the brand. And one of the first things I'll say is that this is not a story about this overnight success. I really took the time to go back and analyze you know from when they got started and so what i came across is that back in 2017 this is when they first got started and they initially rolled out with these hair oils and this was the branding this was the packaging and you can see that there wasn't really too much going on at this time period right they obviously had a slow start now fast forward to 2021 things had started to pick up they actually were able to get into target and get distribution on there and they've obviously were already seeing some success around this time period however they weren't on tiktok their first post on TikTok was in 2021. I actually went and looked it up and it's still publicly available. And you can see that there is still mainly focus on this hair growth product. Now, I went through a couple different articles from the founder and she mentioned that really they didn't see that much success on TikTok until last year, August of 2023. It wasn't until they introduced this new body glaze product that they actually started picking up traction on TikTok. And so just a little bit of context on this product. This is a body glaze, which is made to leave the skin soft and glossy without being greasy. And it tightens the skin and prevents sagging and wrinkling. So obviously this product is not for me, but they have an ideal audience that they're going after, which is mainly women. Now, what's crazy is that I took some time to really understand their overall overall like marketing strategy, right? And one of the things I can confidently say is that they're doing things a lot more differently than most brands are. So the next thing I want to cover is that this brand is really good at community building. And I'll explain exactly why. So I personally believe that authenticity is what has led to this brand being able to create a raving fan base that consistently supports and stands behind the brand. The founder in an article stated that I'm very good at telling people and showing people in content and video format why they need the product, what it does, and getting them excited about it. And she actually practices what she preaches. So she has actually made herself the face of the brand and has built this personal brand where she brings people in behind the scenes and really brings them along her entire journey, which in our current modern day and time is massive, right? What I have seen is that brands that have a face behind it compared to brands that don't really, if they do it right, they have an advantage, right? Because it's a lot more personable and people can relate to a lot more to an individual person rather than this faceless brand or company. Now, I took some time to just go through her content. And as you can see, she takes the time to share content about her family, her day to day life. She shares the products in use, right? And then she also shares behind the scenes at the warehouse, how her employees are packaging the orders, how they're getting stuff ready for these launches and a whole lot more. And so what this does is it really, again, allows people to buy in to uh, her overall story, right? People love rooting for the underdog. And so this has allowed her to really build a very strong community. And again, I think that this has been a huge foundation to their overall success. And the reason I say that is because one of the things that I talk about that's crucial for any brand that wants to see results with TikTok or TikTok shop is you need to be able to work with creators and a lot of creators, ideally, if you want to do really good volume. And so the next thing I want to go over is their approach with working with these different content creators and affiliates. And so the founder literally stated that 
After launching Body Glaze on TikTok shop, hordes of content creators flocked to showcase the product, resulting in tens of millions of views across TikTok. And so if we actually zoom into this screenshot here that I pulled from Calo Data, we can see that in the last 180 days, they have worked with over 3000 creators, which is absolutely insane. Like that's, those are the kind of numbers that take a long time to get to, and they've already done it in a short time period. And I personally believe that the reason why they were able to do it in such a short time Time period is because again the personal brand aspect right like people can truly see the founder and they can really stand behind it and actually on TikTok specifically this is something that has become a lot more common like brands are popping up left and right and they're focusing on creating content around the founder and um, documenting the journey of building the brand from the ground up and I think that this is going to continue to be a thing so this has played a huge role in their overall success working with all of these content creators and having all this content created brings massive levels of awareness to the brand and to all the products that they offer. And again, at a very personable level, right? That's what really makes this brand stand out compared to others. Now, the next thing I want to go over is how they build anticipation going into the live stream. So I took some time to review the content that was being posted by the brand and the founder one week before the live stream. And one of the things that they do really well is they build anticipation and get their audience excited for this live stream. You can see here, this is a video that is only showcased casing in her warehouse and all of her employees helping pack all the orders for this live stream. And this video here has 314,000 views, which is absolutely insane. Next is she has other content where she talks about the live stream that's coming up. And basically what I notice is that one, they give some time in advance for people to know when the live stream is happening. So they get some time to save it to their calendar or just make a reminder about it. Next is they plan a product drop for their live stream. And they also make sure to do a product drop with one of their most popular products. And I noticed that those are two things that um, I realized that they were really promoting to build anticipation and hype around the live stream. And so I think that this is this plays a big role as to how they get so many people to show up on the live stream in the first place. This is something that we've commonly done in the past. Whenever we have any upcoming product drops or any promotions, we take the time to usually build anticipation as well, right? Like we'll send out a preview or a reminder or hint at the fact that something is coming because it's proven to work. And doing this on live streams, well, I mean, we can see the effect that like they're able to get people, massive amounts of people to come on this live stream by doing this. And so I wanted to make sure I kind of covered that because I thought that was super interesting. Now, I took some time to review this live stream, but also some of the most successful live streams as well. And there are a couple different learnings that I basically came across that I want to share with you guys as well. And the reason I want to go over it is obviously this brand and this founder knows what she's doing, right? There's a reason why she's able to go on and host a live stream and then generate a million dollars right in a five to six hour time period. And so I want to break down some of the main learnings that I got away from that. So one of the first things is, is that the host is super important. Ideally, if you want to do this yourself, you have to find someone that's charismatic and loud, like the founder of the brand, like that literally explains her, like she's a good representation of a good host. Now, of course, she understands the brand the best and the product, so it's a little bit easier, but she also has a personality for it. You constantly have to be able to smile and showcase the product, talk about the benefits and why the viewer should buy it. And she does an exceptional job at this, like she absolutely crushes it. And the next thing is you also have to be able to keep the audience engaged and make them feel welcome. And this is something that needs to be done on an ongoing basis. Like this live again ran for five to six hours and so it's not easy to be able to do that throughout the entire live stream next is engagement so one of the things that i notice is that these live sessions is like a revolving door thousands of people will go in and out and so you have to keep repeating yourself over and over again engaging with the chat answering questions in chat and having a conversations with all of the viewers who comment asking them where they're from how they're doing etc and the reason why is because ideally you want to create this interactive experience right people are coming on to check out the live stream and so the way you can keep them engaged and hooked to want to keep watching more and end up actually buying the product is by engaging with them, right? Acknowledging that they're actually there on that live stream. Next is I noticed that all of the best live streams, they all offer live only discounts. And so I think that if you're going to do a live stream, you need to incorporate some type of live only discounts. And this is actually something that's super easy to do. You can make this in the seller central under promotions. And ideally, this will actually help your calls to action, which I'll actually cover next. So as you can see, going into the live stream, the name of the live stream was summer sale and mega mini restock. So already from the positioning and the title of the live stream, people know that 
that they're going to have access to these discounts that are only happening on these live streams. And so they're looking forward to these discounts. The next thing I want to go over is calls to action. So of course, the purpose of these live streams is to get people on and engage with them. But at the end of the day, the ultimate goal is to sell products on these live streams. And so you have to be able to make calls to actions, things like click the shop link button, click down below and consistently remind them of these live only deals. And the reason why you want to do this is because again, unless you tell people to buy, then you know, they'll just sit around and, and engage with the live stream. They won't actually take the next step, which is to actually buy the product. And so I noticed that a lot of the best hosts on these live streams, they they constantly weave in these subtle calls to actions, right? They'll answer a couple questions, engage with the viewers, and then they'll say, hey, like you can get yours down below. Some of them will even ask certain viewers like, hey, did you already get yours, right? And, and this works. So another thing that I noticed is that the best hosts, they mention how these live only deals, they can only access on this live stream. They basically tell them like, hey, this is the only time that this offer is going to be available. And so they also include things like this is the cheapest that it will ever be. And what this does is it creates this sense of urgency and it makes people want to take advantage of the offer. Because as we know, if you don't put a time clock on something or put a certain amount available, people will just, you know, sit around. They won't take any immediate action. It's known that this works. And so in regards regards to calls to action, I think that that's all super important. Next, I want to go over giveaways. I'm seeing more lives and the ones that are doing the best actually leverage giveaways. I think it's a good tool that you can use to get your audience to engage with your live. One way that you can do it is you can actually set a goal for like the amount of likes that you get and say something like once we get to 10K likes, we'll do a giveaway. And obviously you want to sound excited to get people engaged. And this is a way you can force people to like and engage with your live streams. And the reason why you want to do this is because one, again, it helps with the engagement and two, the more engaged you have your live stream and the more viewers you have, the more TikTok will organically push your live stream. And so it's a win win, right? Somebody from your audience gets to win something for free and you get more engagement on your live stream, which brings more people, which results in you actually having a better live stream outcome. Those are some of the main learnings that I've had so far from the few live streams that I've taken the time to break down and, and really understand. And so hopefully this has been super helpful. Again, I think that there's a lot of learnings and takeaways overall that we can gather just from this one live stream, right? Like there's a reason why this brand has been able to get to the point where they can host a live stream and sell a million dollars worth of product. Now, I don't think that it's only about the live stream itself, but obviously within the live stream, there's a lot of components that go into it, right? She's not just winging this live stream, right? This is something that has taken practice and they've actually done a prior live stream in the past. They didn't do a million dollars in sales, but they actually did pretty decent numbers. So that's one thing I wanted to go over. Now, the last thing I wanted to end off with is that the way I currently see it is TikTok is not a sales channel. It's an entertainment platform that is currently competing with YouTube and Netflix for attention and sometimes acts as a discovery engine for commerce. It doesn't replace Amazon or any other retailer. However, live commerce is a natural fit for TikTok. And I personally think that again, here in the US, this is only getting started. Now to bring things full circle, not just any product or any brand can host a live stream and sell a million dollars worth of products. In order to get those kind of results, first, you need to have a really good product. I don't see how this strategy overall would have worked unless they actually had a good product. You can look at the reviews for Canvas Beauty and you'll see that most of their customers have nothing but good things to say about their products. Next is you need to have a content strategy in place, whether you're the founder of the brand and you're now going to become the face and start creating content for the brand or you're going to work with different affiliates and content creators to create content for the brand. You need to have a strategy in place that will allow you to one, get more exposure on TikTok and will actually bring more awareness around your products and your brand. Without this, there's really no way that you can get to the point where you can build up enough of an audience where you can have a successful live stream. And so last but not least, of course, you need to have an actual strategy going into the live stream, right? Plan out a promotion or a product drop, build anticipation and actually have a good host. And so um, these are actually some of the things that we help with. And so if you run an e-commerce brand and you're looking to get help with TikTok, TikTok shop, TikTok shop ads, or TikTok live streams, I'd be happy to see if I can help. There's a form down below this video in the description that you can fill out and actually get in contact with me or somebody on my team. Now, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, I'd appreciate if you dropped a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.